yeah, so interactive email, interactive HTML email, where I sort of started off with interactivity, um, it's powered by checkboxes and radio buttons, so like form inputs. Uh, you, you can have a checkbox or a radio button, you, you, you click on a checkbox and it's checked, or you click it again, it's unchecked. So we can detect this checked status using CSS, and then we can style things in the email based off that. So you can have a checkbox and you, you click it and then it's checked. So we say, if this is checked, then here's some content, we'll expand it, we'll show this content for an accordion section. And you click it again and it will close it, close it up. Um, so that's really good and it works, um, but it's, it's a hack. This is not what this is intended for. It's not what checkboxes are intended for or radio buttons. Um, so we're not using the things for intended purpose. It's hard to get it working well. It's very hard to get it accessible. It is possible to get it accessible, but there are, you know, there's some limitations with it and it's very hard to get that working. Um, because email clients change a lot, it's hard to maintain. Um, but it is, is still very cool. With with AMP, it's built for this. It, it's this is you know it's made to be done this way. It's made made for this, um, and we can we can do a lot more. Um, sure. So you can so if you're looking at the interactivity, when you click on something in an interactive email, that click triggers something, and it triggers sort of one thing. That one thing could involve multiple parts, but multiple moving pieces. But it's triggering one thing. In AMP, you can trigger multiple things. Uh, in AMP, you can do more with calculations as well. You can um, adjust things more. You can um, you, you can do yeah a lot more. You can make it more accessible. It's a lot easier to make things accessible. There's a lot of um, out the box sort of components in the AMP, so you can use like the AMP carousel to build a carousel, the AMP accordion to build an accordion. Um, these are like just it's all all the work's done there for you, and they're really really easy to use. Um, in the um, the Trailhead Live videos that we have at Salesforce, the first video sort of goes into a bit of that and how, how easy it is to use it. Then you can do some more advanced things using AMP Bind and then you start building your custom stuff, which like I did with the little flipbook uh, catalog. Um, then you can do some more that way. But when you're doing that, you need to, th then it gets a bit harder on the AMP side as well, because you need to start thinking about accessibility and managing the state, um, which is, um, is po possible it's very doable and it's easier still easier than doing it in uh, interactive html um so there's a lot there's a lot that you can do with it um and and then <laughs> then there's the live content yeah um, there there are some you can do to a certain extent live content in html email using uh, images and you just sort of keep updating that image so when it the request comes through you send a fresh image every time depending on various factors um the new ios or, or apple um mail protection policy stuff has messed with that a bit because then they're caching the images so that doesn't really work so well yeah. there anymore but with um but also it's just an image you're very limited you can't really put much content in there you can just change a picture you can't you can't change the alt text you can't change like important information but with with amp you can do use an amp list and you pull in live data and this is pulled in as a json file of live data and then you laid out in the content of the email you can do that on open or you can do that on form submit so you can get so you can fill in a bit of form and get something you can do a search um in in amp and you get some search results back in the email straight away yeah. it's, it's um pretty amazing yeah